Hey, this is Nick and welcome to another OG Academy video. Most wheel cleaners can handle maintenance washes with no problem, uh, but what if you have some seriously grimy wheels or you live in an area with some extreme winter conditions? Well, Shine Supply Wise Guy is probably the wheel cleaner that you're looking for. So what is Shine Supply Wise Guy? Well, in its simplest terms, it's an aggressive, dilutable, non-acidic wheel cleaner. But let me explain what that means a little bit. It's best to think of this as the decon soap of wheel cleaners. So you would use this product in place of something like a brake buster when you have really deeply embedded and dirty wheels or you live in a winter condition and you have salt on your wheels. Additionally, this product will work to remove any protection you have on the wheels. So that includes waxes, sealants, and even coatings. Although I wouldn't recommend using this on coated wheels as it will degrade it over time. So how can we use this product effectively? Well, as I mentioned, it's a dilutable product, so you can decide how aggressive you want it to be. For things like decon washes, you'll want a one-to-one -one or one-to-two ratio. But if you're looking to use this regularly or you want it just slightly less aggressive, you can go all the way down to something like a one-to-ten or even a one-to-twenty dilution. If you're confused about dilution ratios or just want more information, you should check out the video we did on those. We have a one to one dilution ratio right here. So let's take this outside and show you how it works. So we have our wheel here. Um, we don't actually have uh, very harsh winter conditions down here in Florida, but this one hasn't been washed in probably three to five months. So this is a good example of a very dirty wheel that could seriously use a uh, decon. So we're just gonna take our Shine Supply Wise guy and start spraying it onto the tire and you'll notice instantly how it reacts with that tire. So that browning color is pulling all of that grime out of there. Now we're using this on a dry tire, but if you had a lot of salt or debris, you could spray it off with the pressure washer first before you apply the uh, chemical. It would still work. Now we'll apply some to the wheel. and then we'll get the barrel as well. All right, we'll get my tire brush out of our wheel bucket. I like to wet this down before we scrub it. So I'll move this off to the side. And then we can scrub the tire first. And you'll notice that color on there. The goal is to get the color on the tires to be a white foam. So we probably have another one or two times to do this before we get it fully clean. Set that down for now. And then we're gonna rinse this off. I know I sprayed some chemical on the wheel, but we're gonna agitate that uh, next. We want to spray off as much dirt as we can before we start agitating. So I'm gonna spray it. I don't want your camera to get. Now we'll reapply to both the tire and the wheel. We'll scrub the wheel again, and then we'll actually agitate the uh, rim as well. Notice how the foam is considerably brighter than it was before but it's not quite that pure white foam yet. So that tells me I probably have one more time to scrub the tire. We'll take our Increta brush and then we'll do the barrels next. Start water down. It is worth mentioning that uh, Wise Guy does not foam nearly as much as something like a Brake Buster, but the foam is pretty much purely aesthetic. It doesn't actually do any of the cleaning, so rest assured that it's still doing its job. Now we'll take our lambskin mitt and then we'll wipe the face of the wheel down. A 
I'll also reapply just a little bit of product to the front. I can rinse it down and then we'll probably get the tires one more time, but you'll see how much work it actually did on the rims just from two application. last application and we shouldn't see any browning on this application that'll let us know that our tire is fully clean and there we go we're getting that pure white foam we know our tire is fully clean and we can move on to the next one Right, and after two or three applications, you can see these rims and these tires are completely clean. Some more information that we think you need to know about Shine Supply Wise Guy is that it's safe on all painted, powder coated, and chrome wheels. And as I mentioned before, it's a non acidic formula, meaning there's no active ingredients in it. You should not use this product on any anodized or polished aluminum wheels as it will eat away at the wheel itself. And lastly, I wouldn't recommend this for a maintenance cleaner if you have your wheels coated, as it will degrade that coating every single time you wash, and it will expedite the failure of it, unlike a brake buster. Shine Supply is an absolute must-have if you live in colder climates and are dealing with salt all the time. Additionally, if you just like deconning wheels regularly. As always, you can get Wise Guy in our store at ObsessedGarage.com, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments or reach out directly at support at ObsessedGarage.com.